and then blow past the 50s into the 60s Saturday. Something's up for the weekend. That's a cold front Saturday night. I don't anticipate a whole lot of precipitation out of it, but we will get hit from the 60s to the 40s by late in the weekend, and some of that chill, guys, could be hanging on for a couple of days early next week. Is it? Hello. <laughs> how are you, dear? Hello, how are you, dear? <laughs> hey, oh, thanks, longing Tom. for spring. Aren't we all? Springhouse Gardens has the cure, planting unique pines, even for the smaller garden. Our buddy Richard <laughs> Weber has brought us some samples. These are good-looking trees we got here. Well, March is one of those kind of crazy months where you wish you had flowers and all sorts of things, but it's a little early. Yeah. But March signals the time when we bring all of these really cool uh, evergreens in from the west coast so mm -hmm. these just came in from Oregon so not only our garden center but every all the garden centers across the country are receiving plants from Oregon oh. um, and these are some of the things that we're known for are these really unusual dwarf evergreens another name is a dwarf conifer but these are three really funky little pine trees. Yeah, because they kind of grow kind of cockeyed. These have not been pruned like this. This is naturally really? how they grow. So that oh, looks like a miniature uh, bonsai tree. Right. But right. it's not. This is how this thing grows What's wrong in with nature. Them? It's just... They, they just stay they low just, undergrowth just, kind of deal. Yeah, that's what and they do. Just, there's different um, um, aberrations basically that a pine tree, like this this tree would normally get 30 or 40 feet tall, oh. Yeah, but there's these little growths that, that are abnormal for, for the normal oh, but tree. But it's not a hybrid. It's not no, man-made. It's, it's, it's grafted from a plant that they found right. somewhere growing so in the wild. So then how do you keep it pruned so that it maintains You don't have to do shape? anything. You don't, you don't have, have to do anything. It grows just that's like that. what he's that. saying. You don't yeah. do nothing. Well, yeah. So it's low maintenance. Yeah, very low maintenance. <laughs> so that one is one's called uh, that's called Spans Dwarf, and it just okay. grows about two or three inches a year. Right. Uh, if you wanted to keep it smaller, pines are one of these unique things that you only have to pr prune them once a year. Okay. And it's when these things these are called candles, and you see how they kind of look like little candles. Yeah. yeah. When that enlarges in the spring, is that you just snip it off by like half, and it will keep it even more compact. And it doesn't matter if it's a dwarf pine or a gigantic pine. You trim oh, it that one time and it keeps it more compact. Because this is where I guess it's growing out of. That's right. right. That's okay. where the new buds are and coming. The Kentucky new summer's not going to bother this thing. No, pine trees are pretty tough and durable. So these are. This is a Japanese white pine, mm -hmm. but this one is a real slow growing thing. And if you looked at a normal pine, you wouldn't want one that's crooked like this. No. But this is how this is supposed to grow. To grow. I okay. like it. And you use it around a, a fountain or a pond right, yeah. or a Japanese Decorative. garden. Mm -hmm. Uh, in a pot. A lot of these will, can grow in a pot because they don't get really, really What big. about our soil, though, and fertilizer to try to... Really good for our alkaline soils as long as they're well-drained. They don't like wet spots gotcha. at all or where water drains. It has to um, it has to drain through and stay more on the dry, dry side. side. Okay. This well, one in the front is really cool. It's called Uncle Fogey. <laughs> so they've got kind of really funky oh, names too, but Uncle really, Fogey, really, really fun. It looks like it comes from Lord of the Rings or something. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. Hey, for <laughs> more information, you call Springhouse Gardens uh, 859-224-1417 or log on to springhousegardens.com and see great photos on their Facebook page Richard as well. Richard Weber, always great when you well, stop by. Well, it's always fun. Yeah, we'll be right back.